What's going on, everybody? As always, place a cross on first. I guess uh, the Lord wanted me to record more and more today. You know, I got to do what it is. I don't know what I'm finna talk about. Let's go on with the flow. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, people. You know, sometimes you just never know. You know, every day I, I get up, you know what I'm saying, I try to figure out how the day is going to go and try to figure things out. And Like I, I've been saying this for a, a while now. I realize as a follower of Christ, I know nothing. Go with the flow. Expect the unexpected. Good or bad. It's just, I could, I want to get on here and sometimes I, I want to tell people all the goodness of the Lord. I do. To me, it's all good. But I can't do it like most people do. You know what I'm saying? I see the goodness in the Lord. I see the goodness of the Lord all the time. You understand? But I also see the sufferings and the trials and tribulations that we face as children of the Most High God. You know, and I cannot not just talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I got to talk about the truth. You understand? The truth. You know, am I always at peace? No. Are you always at peace? No. Don't lie. Don't lie. No lies of God. You know what I'm saying? I go through things that I don't even know. But I know one thing. Prayer. And where God wants you to be and how God wants to direct you. He'll do things that makes absolutely no sense to you at all. You know, like some, like I was talking about this the other day. You know, like you have things on your mind you want to say. You want to take matters in your own hands. You want to say this. You want to say that. And it's like that voice, like, don't worry about it. Let me handle it. Shouldn't I say this? No. Huh. And then you'll keep waiting and keep waiting. And then all of a sudden, bam. It happens. When I say it happens, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You understand? God knows what's best. He does. I don't know what's best for your life. Your preacher don't know what's best for your life. All I know what's best for your life is to keep Christ first and pray to God. Try to operate according to his will. Try to test the spirits. Try to live a life pleasing to the Lord to the best of your ability every day. And things will work out. You understand? When I, and I'm telling y'all people, when I say things are going to work out, just throw out what you think. Just throw it out the window. How you think things are going to work out. Things are going to work out however the Lord wants them to work out. And you know, when you call on him, he's going to do it the best of his ability, especially if you try not to interfere. The more you interfere, you mean the I'm going to say what you mean by what I mean by interfering. The more you take matters in your own hands, the more wrong decisions are made. Do you understand? It's like sometimes God doesn't want you to do much. Sit back, wait. Let things reveal themselves. You ever be mad and want to say something, and then you don't, and everything calms down real quick? And do you ever get mad and want to say something and don't? And things don't calm down quick. Things don't never happen the same. Y'all got to realize this. Nothing happens the same. But I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe. I believe everything that's in your life is meant to be. Will be. Do you understand? I believe in that from the bottom of my heart. You know, I have been through so many ups and downs in this life. And I'm sure you have too. And it's a lot of things that a lot of unanswered questions are wise. You know, when it comes to God, we are like a three-year-old. You know, a three-year-old goes to that why phase. Every time something that, why, why, you spend yourself just asking, answering the same questions over and over again. You know, when you give your life to God, we turn to that three-year-old. We turn to that two, three-year-old for more than know everything. Why, Lord? Why? And the thing is, we ask asking our parents. The thing is, we don't know the answer, but we know we answer that the question to the best of our ability. And the thing is, God knows all the answers. He still ain't going to answer all of them. Not how we want. 
Because there's some things he just don't want us to know as him being God. You know, it is what it is, people. I try to break it down to people the best way I know how. And sometimes I feel bad. I'm like, Lord, why can't I talk with the compassion inside? Like people are like, I have no compassion. I do. I just don't show it like everybody else. You have no love. I do. I just don't show it like everybody else. You understand? And you may feel like that. Like people want you to be this way and you trying. All you can do is try. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, you ever had met that one person that's always mean. Like my mom, for example, she always was mean. She always had a mean look on her face. And every once in a while, we could actually get her to laugh. You know, and that took, it took a while now. But my mom was very serious. And I think I got a lot of that from her. Now, my dad, he was just a joker. Laugh. You know, hardly ever saw him mad at all, you know. My mom and my dad were so different. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I got both of their characteristics. And one time, probably more so than the other. You know, and I try to figure that out, you know. But I can't. I am who I am. You understand? And you are who you are. You can't stop who made you. You hear it. Accept it. But there are things about me I do want changed. And I'm sure there are things about you that you do want changed. Things you don't understand. Why, why is this still lingering around? And you done prayed on it. You done prayed on it. And nothing. You got to realize something when you about praying. When nothing happens sometimes, it got nothing to do with your faith. Do you hear what I'm saying? There it is. When you pray sometimes, some things don't happen. Not because your faith is not strong. It's because God is wanting you to accept what his answer is. Sometimes nothing is like, there you go. There's your note. That's something I want to be around with you for a while. Especially in regards to your character. You understand? You ever try to pray your flaws away? And they don't happen. I'm talking about character flaws. I'm not talking about from alcohol or drugs. I'm talking about things that are inside of you that you like. I've, God, please change this about me. And nothing happens. You ever did that? And nothing happens. Like, years in the past and you still that person. And you still got this characteristic that everybody else telling you need to do away with. And it just ain't going nowhere. You praying with your, all your heart to the most high God. And it's still there. Sometimes you just got to accept it. And you got to trust in God's timing. I think some, some uh, characteristics and some qualities of us, God doesn't want to take away. I talked about this before. You got to think about molding you. You already made him, right? Molding you. You understand? Your outward appearance ain't going to change too much. He's going to mold you from the inside. So, take it regards to molding you. It's not too much he's going to change. You understand? Like I was talking about earlier, Paul. Not as though I apprehended. You know, like, basically, Paul in old age was like, I still ain't figured it out. And I'm starting to realize, in 12 years or 13 years, I still ain't figured it out. Only thing I got figured out, people, is to spread the gospel the way he put it on my heart to do it. You understand? I didn't try. I'm talking about try, man. You know, uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You know, and sometimes I think I'm doing something wrong, but I can't stop it. It's addiction. It's like spreading the gospel is addiction. You know, and like you said, if anybody knew me in the past, I was shy, and I still am. <laughs> After I get to know you, yeah, I loosen up, but I'm still shy right now. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing I'm not shy doing is talking about God and trying to enlighten other people. Even if I'm not talking about God indirectly, I use his words and the experience I had in my life for anyone. Even when my life is in turmoil. You know what's the hardest thing about spreading the gospel? still doing it when things ain't going how you want you know I believe anybody can spread the gospel when everything's going exactly according to how you want it to go 
And it's like, I thought by now I would have reached that point in my life as a Christian. And I haven't. I'm still not there. And I don't really want to. But I feel like, I like my flaws. Paul, so I'm going to say how Paul said it. A thorn in the flesh. I like some of my thorns. You know what I'm saying? They keep me grounded. Keep me from not being high-minded and things like that. And you know, I may look tough and I preach free, this word tough. Words hurt me more than anything. I rather somebody punch me in the face sometimes. Slap me. Because I got a good memory. <laughs> and that's the hardest thing with me. Words. What you say. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out why. Oh, the word says that deadly poison. Who can tame the sword? The tongue. Who can tame the tongue? That two-edged sword. With it, we bless God and curse others. That sword, that tongue. Like, I can get over a lot of stuff, man. But certain words and certain things said in a harmful, hurtful way to hurt, deliberately to hurt. I was just telling somebody one of my past stories when I was young. I was a bully. I wasn't a bully like beat people up. But I used to talk about folks. This I did. And I had the gift, but this is how I got into it. I'm not saying it's right. People used to kind of bully me, bigger guys, and I found myself using jokes and making people laugh to get them off my back, but I went to the extreme. I started making fun of other people, and one day I made fun of this guy. I probably made fun of this guy like every day, all the time, you know, and I just beat him down, you know, and everybody was laughing, so I was like, act over, so I walked over to my desk. And I sit down, and I'm laughing on my back turn. He flipped the desk over, got on top of me, so it hit me. I couldn't do nothing. I was pinned. And I didn't try to retaliate. I, I, I took it. I was like, whoa. And like after that day, I changed. I still joke and stuff like that, but I, I changed in regards to how I went at people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is not right. It's like God showed me through that ass whooping. Don't do that. You understand? Don't make people feel like that. Don't say things or do things to people to just to hurt them deliberately. And some people do. And have no remorse. I'm going to tell y'all something about words, man. They're the worst things. I'm telling you. A lot of people are forgiven from people. But people just don't forget it. And they wonder why. Like, why are you still like this? Because a lot of times, most people who can't tame their tongue, I'm not, nobody can tame it, but the people who just let it out, who let their mouth overload their ass, like my mom used to say, they keep doing it. No matter how much you forgive them, no matter how much you let them back in, they show their true colors again. And you're like, here it is again. The same things I left from, I ran from. You know, you got two types of people. People that learn from it and grow from it. No, actually three. People who keep doing it and never learn. Do you understand? And people who learn it and it works for them and they get worse. That's it. Do you understand? It's, it's crazy, man. There's no in-betweens in here. You know, there's no in-betweens. And I like the joke, man. I do. I love to make people laugh. You know. And I got a dark side too. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm letting it all out in the bag. You know, when I'm pushed to a certain level, I lash. I lash out. And you know, it's only certain people I can call today. God, and probably one other person I can call that'll calm me down before I do something with my mouth. I don't know why I'm tearing up right now. You understand? But I'm glad I got those people. You know, I thought I thought I could calm anybody. I thought I could calm any. So it's just some people I just cannot calm down. I can't. Hey, I just can't. <laughs> and it's like, don't matter what I try, man. It's, it goes back to certain things, people, that God shows you. Things you like, hey, fix this.
<clears throat> Do you understand what I'm doing here? It is what it is. You know, who can make straight what God has made crooked? Some people are just made with a crooked, perverse mouth. And I think it can strengthen you. But imagine when you do that to people who <clears throat> can't handle it and people snap and then they do something, they go off the deep end. Husbands and wives, close people, people just finally get enough is enough. And then they go to school and they shoot it up. I understand. I'm not condoning it, but some people just can't handle it. And the thing is, only way I can handle it now, as good, and I still can't handle it all the way, is with God. It's the only way. You know, because if it weren't for him, I probably, man, would have been snapped and broke out, man. Like, some people, I done lashed out on it with no consequences. Do you hear me? I'm talking about no consequences at all. No backlash from the Lord. <laughs> like, give it to him. And I try to explain this to people. Like, Houston, you're not your regular Christian. I don't even think I just said that. I don't even think that was me that said, Houston, you ain't your regular Christian. That wasn't me. I was thinking about saying something else, but that just came out. And sometimes you just got to accept that. You know, because it looks so, I'm like, man, how? You know, why do I go through so much? <clears throat> and I'm sure you ask yourself the same question. <clears throat> Why am I going through this? <clears throat> and I do have a drinking habit. We can okay call it a problem every day. I drink something every day. But it's not going to stop me from talking about God. It's like the devil wants me to. I, you know. And I even tell people God took it from me before. He took it from me. Cold turkey. Woke up, gone. So if one day you hear me talking about I'm not drinking anymore, <laughs> he did it again. But as of right now, you know, I don't think people look at uh, Christians are ever getting weary or getting tired or getting frustrated. I don't think people look at Christians have, of going through emotions like, because you got to portray yourself to be this strong being. You know, no weaknesses. But you got to show it sometimes. You got to show people, hey, I, I got flesh too. I'm not as hard as you think I am. You keep hitting me. I might hit back. I might, you keep talking to me crazy. I might talk back. But I'm trying. I'm suffering. I'm, <laughs> I'm weary. You know, I try to break it down to people in everyday life terms. You know, I love the elders in the church. Most of them. <laughs> I love all of them, but some of them I just see a little different in them. And that's my goal. And I'm going to tell you what I'm saying. They're like little children. They're so happy. Some of the certain ones, they're so happy. They're humble. They're like at peace. It's like nothing bothers them. They'd have been through so much in life, and they like, God is good. I know, <laughs> but I want to know like you know, and I'm starting to realize I want to get where he is, not covet what he is. I want to get where he is. Do you understand what I'm saying? I want to get to that point. I want to live an old blessed life where I'm so calm with it, but I still want to talk about some of the old things. I don't want to be that, hey, I never been through nothing in life. No. Nah. I want to get to that point. I'm just, I'm trying. And I'm sure y'all are too. I'm doing this because I don't want you to think you're, don't beat yourself up. Because a lot of times I beat myself up. A lot of times I want to cry. And God be like, no. I'm like, what? That's what I want to do right now. No. That don't make sense. I know it don't. Not this time. And then it's like, the battle's not over. The conclusion ain't there yet. Don't cry too fast. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't give in too fast. And don't show too much weakness. Especially you men out there. Women too, but men. Let me pause and I will continue.